Well, I want to showcase one of the examples that we just talked about of how to combine the explicit systematic instruction with that CRA visual representation. To do that, I've got an example problem. It's positive 5 sixths minus 1 half. So set up the first one, 5 in the numerator. And I just choose popsicle sticks. It's in the uh, book computation of fractions for middle school students. But you don't have to use popsicle sticks. You can use little candies or teddy bears or anything like that. It's just counter chips work fine, too. So I've got a positive 5 6 minus 1 half. So grab a minus sign. I mean, it's just 1 over 2. Now, for students who are trying to solve any type of fraction or adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators, the first thing you try to focus on is you see that the numerators or the denominators are the same. If the denominators are the same, we can begin the adding and subtracting. Until then, we've got to find equivalent fractions to work this out. So now that we've got to reiterate that process, we get to come to here and go, oh, what are we looking for? Are they the same? They always were before, but look now. Oh, they're not. What are we going to do? Well, let's work with the fraction with that small denominator and see what else we can do. In this case, let's multiply the numerator times 2 and the denominator times 2. See if that does it. So a little bit of accounting practice here. Two sets of 1 over two sets of 2. Ah, now I got fourths and sixths. Not it. So let's multiply that numerator denominator by 3 each. Three sets of 1 over three sets of 2. And now the student goes, wait, 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 now they're the same. Are you sure? One, two, three, four. Oh, you got it. Hopefully they're not counting at this age. But if they are, that, that's, that's a snip that we'll have to beat through. But if, let's say, they automatically say six, we're in good shape, we then physically have them move their signs up so they know what's supposed to be computed now. We move them up to the numerators. Now, using some of that addition subtraction of integers, don't forget, we can have a negative answer just as easily here. But let's find out. It's positive 5 minus 3. Are they going opposite or same on a number line? Well, positive 5 is going one way. Minus 3 is going the other. So they're going opposite. So let's take 3 from each group, right? Because for every 3 positive, 3 minus. What are we left with now? Well, minus 0 sixths doesn't do much as any good here. So we end up with a positive 2 sixths. Now, that doesn't sound bad, but couldn't we simplify this more? Well, the child looks there and tries to group by 3, and no, I can't divide numerator denominator by 3, but I can do it by 2. My answer is 2 sixths can be simplified to looking at 1 set of 2 over 3 sets of 2. Where sticks are good is you can stack them up. So they can see the 1 third, but each one is a stack of 2. That way they get this out. And again, what I want to show is that simplification here, so I'm going to write it down here. We had 2 sixths was the same as 2, right, one set of 2, as three sets of 2, the same as being one third. Well, ideally what we do is when we do concrete and the child learns fluently to work here, the next step is to do pictorial. So for the pictorial, 5 six minus 1 half, we want to teach that child to write these out. Just like if we use popsicle sticks today, Let's draw them out like popsicle sticks. And they go through the same process, right? Another numerator, another denominator, another numerator, another denominator. And they'll go through this pictorially. What we're hoping that they do in the end is learn abstractly, not just to multiply numerators and denominators this way, but to look through and analyze the denominator, realize least common multiple, you know what? I need three more sets here and three more sets here in order to even start the subtraction process. The idea is what we're doing is we're using concrete as more of a bridge to get to this pictorial and hopefully eventually this abstract. The goal of this is to learn that abstract equation solving. But the idea of CRA is to go through it. All the things that I verbalize are the explicit instruction teacher think allows during the process. But again, that's just one example how CRA could be used.